we're going to draw another SUV. This time we're going to draw it in a slightly different perspective. It's going to be much more of a frontal view and it's going to be facing in the opposite direction. So once you know how to draw boxes in perspective, you can draw them in just about any perspective. Now since we're looking much more at the front of the vehicle, the ellipses are going to be a lot more foreshortened. So they're going to be much slimmer, narrower ellipses. But drawing the box and setting things up in the same way is going to help us always know the correct orientation, width, and height of those ellipses. So we're going to start building our body. Again, setting up our rocker just above the wheel centers, setting up our belt line, our frontal plan shape. We're going to start to build our cabin. And we're going to use that front door cut to align our A-pillar to the front wheel. So we always know where that A-pillar needs to be. As you can see, I'm continually adjusting the wheels in order to keep improving the stance and proportions. We start to give this SUV a bit more character. We're gonna start to throw some character lines, somewhat of a, a grill, a headlamp, some front end details, and some body side details. Keeping it fairly generic. I'm not trying to uh, sketch any particular brand at this point, just something something fairly familiar. to show how SUV proportions work in a perspective sketch. We start to put in our side glass shape and just giving it a little bit more character as we go. Put some character lines on the body side to break up the volumes. We're going to draw our door cut in order to define the body side section. We'll put some features above our, our wheel openings in order to give it that tough and rugged stance. And keep adjusting our wheels for stance and proportion. Give our tires some width. I think now we can start to put in some additional detailing in our front end. In this perspective, you'll see a little bit of the far side tire showing through underneath the front end. Put a little bit of a roof rack on top. Again, that classic SUV roof rack. We'll darken some of our graphics. And that, my friends, is a typical SUV in perspective.